it's Jeremy here. Today I'm going to be showing you how to use the strokes in Illustrator CC. I've whipped up this quick load design for you guys. I was just playing around, just showing you what you can do with strokes. Um, you'll see in illustrations, logo designs, you can pretty much use it in anything. Um, I use it a lot of my work and it's pretty much fun to play around with. So you can see if I zoom in here, these are all strokes. And you can create dashes and dots. And you can create really cool effects with texts. You can see I made a shadow with just a stroke. And even these stars are strokes as well. As you can see, just pulling it apart here. And even in um, this circle here, you can see these lines in the back. They're just all strokes as well. So yeah, that, that's what you can do. I'm just showing an example, but you can use it in everything. So what we're going to do, we're going to go to Window. Go to Stroke down the bottom here. Click that. you get the window. Um, you'll see that in the palette section, it's three lines. So mine, I'm just going to drag it out. And you'll see you get this menu. If you only have a small menu like this, then you just go to the drop down menu on the right and press show options. And it will drop down this whole big menu. So what we've got here, what the stroke is, is pretty much a path. So if I create a shape, I'm going to press L for the ellipse tool and just drag it out. So if I create a shape, you'll see if I zoom in, you see that the, this blue line is the stroke. I'm going to change it to black because it's white right now. And you can see this is a stroke. If I press shift X, it's going to shift it to a fill. And you can see in the left hand corner, you'll see you get your fill and then you've got your stroke, which is your path or your line. So you see I've got a stroke here. And what we can do is we can up the weight of the stroke. So in our stroke palette panel, just press the up key. Um, a trick, if you want to make it go faster, you press hold shift and it'll go up by tens. So it'll go really big, really fast like that. And you can do it down as well. So now we'll be increasing our stroke. You can also drop down menu and you can select um, how many points you want it. Or the width of it. Um, but yeah, so what we've got here, we've got cap, corner, and a line stroke. So what the cap is, is pretty much um, the end of the stroke. I'm just going to move this circle over here. If I create a path with the pen tool or the line tool, and I have this stroke here, you'll see how the end is that there's a point at the end or an anchor point at the end of the path. And the cap just means the cap's going to be either rounded or it's going to be um, capped off right at the anchor or a bit over. So this third one will cap it um, a bit over the anchor. This one will cap it directly on the anchor point and this will just round off the edge, which is pretty cool. I like rounding it off. And, and also, we can this applies to the next section, which is the corner as well. So if I just create a square, and you'll see I've got sharp corners right now. If I change the corners to a round join, it, you can see how it's just changed there in the corner to a round join. And if you want to bevel, then you can you can click that the third one and it's going to bevel it off so it's going to cut it off at a sharp angle and you can just quickly change that just like that aligning to stroke the next bit what we can do is what we have our line you can see the stroke is just um, equal on both sides what we can do is we can shift it inside or outside the actual path so if I click align stroke to inside it's going to put the stroke inside the path if I do the outside of it it's going to shift it to the outside the, or you can shift back to the normal, which makes it equal on both sides, which is pretty handy. So to create a dashed line, what we're going to do, I'm just going to go back to my circle here, make it smaller. And what you can do, if, if we click dash line, we're going to create a dash, like you saw before, how I created these dots. That's what we can do. So I've now I've just created a dash line. And what you get got to here, you've got these two options. If you want it to align to the, um, to the path, you can click on this one and it'll make sure that it's equal proportionate to the path so if you have like a shape it's gonna make sure the edges are properly squared off or, or you can just align it um, to the dash and the gaps and you can see I don't know if you can see it will like adjust it a little bit but it just depends on the type of shape you're using so what we're gonna do you can change the dash of it so this will increase how long the dash is so you can make it really short you can also hold shift as well to make it faster and the gap will just make um, the gap bigger or smaller. You can see I'm increasing it and now it's making the gaps really large or you can make the gap really small and make it tight and then increase the dash. You can also, the weight will have an effect on this dash as well. Just like that. And you can add more dashes as well if you want to create like a cool effect. So maybe I'll go 5, 5, 8, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 2-2. You can just experiment, play around, and you can see like I've got like this weird barcode shape going on now, which is pretty cool. And you can always play around and get some really cool, you know, abstract 
um, paths or patterns or whatever you want. So um, that's pretty much how we use um, the dashes and the stroke. Um, you've got some uh, extra options here as well. You can see we can um, select arrowheads, um, which I don't really use. You can see you've got these custom ones. And you'll see at the end of the path of the anchor point, it'll put a it'll put one of those um, arrowhead things. I'll just create a path real quick to show you a little bit of detail. So you can see if I go to these arrowheads and just click any of them, it's going to create an arrowhead at the end of the path. And this side is for the other end of the path. So I can create a hand like that. So you get this weird looking thing. That, that'll be pretty cool if you're doing like infographics or if you're just doing some retro design. Um, this will be pretty handy. And then you've got some options here if you want to scale one side up or if you want to align it or do that type of thing. I don't really use that, but you can experiment with that. You can also change the profile as well. Down the bottom here, you'll get these profiles. Similar to using brushes, it just changes the stroke into a weird um, width. Like the profile of the shape, it registers that as a different profile. So instead of just being... Um, a square square it will just be these weird shapes which you can create and edit so it changes the width profile of it and it, and it just makes it different so yeah pretty much that's how you use stroke guys um, let me know in the comments below if you like this tutorial if you want to see more like this um, just drop a comment don't forget to subscribe for more content every week and I hope to see you guys in the next one